regreso aquí en Auto 060, esta edición especial que estamos haciendo en este momento desde Cincinnati. Estamos fuera de los estudios de Cristina Radio Network allá en Miami porque simplemente hemos estado viajando, aprovechando todas las oportunidades de venir a probar autos nuevos, de conocer a los directivos, a los diseñadores, a los ingenieros de todas las marcas. Como les decía, estamos en este momento en Cincinnati. Más adelante en otra edición de Auto 060 vamos a hablarles del Buick Regal, el modelo que venimos a probar esta semana aquí en Cincinnati. Pero por ahora vamos a regresar, eh, gracias a la magia de la tecnología de la electrónica, al Homestead Miami Speedway, donde estuvimos hace unos días, en la Nismo Performance Academy, la academia donde los dueños de la Nissan, los dueños de vehículos de la Nissan, tienen la oportunidad de probar, de experimentar, de aprender en los autos de alto en los autos de alto desempeño de la Nissan como es el el mismo Yuke, el nuevo crossover ese que tiene una forma un poco peculiar, algunos le dicen que parece una rana, un sapo a punto de saltar, también el 370Z Nismo y por supuesto el Nissan GTR, uno de los mejores autos deportivos que se venden eh, legalmente y que se pueden manejar legalmente por las calles y carreteras de Estados Unidos. Uno de los autos preferidos de prácticamente todos los amantes eh, de los autos de alto desempeño. Así que vamos eh, directamente hasta el Homestead Miami Speedway para hablar un poco, explicar lo que es este Nismo Performance Academy. Well, Carl, uh, thank you for uh, having us here in uh, Homestead Speedway in Miami. Uh, during the Nismo Performance Academy, and this is a special program. It's kind of new for you guys, right? Like you started last year, I believe? Uh, yes, actually we started this year. Uh, last year we did some uh, track events with GTR owners, and this year as we were expanding the Nismo brand, we decided to really um, use Nismo as the kind of umbrella, if you will, for uh, all of our events that we're doing this year. So this is the third event we've had. Okay, and this is uh, people who have bought Nismo products, and they get a track day as part of the of the purchase of the vehicle, right? Uh, owners of our uh, 370 and 350Zs as well as our GTR owners. So, uh, yes, we've invited them out. Not just the Nismo models, but all those cars. Oh, okay. And uh, so what, what do they get? What, what do people get when they come to these kind of events? Essentially what they're getting is a one-day high-performance driving experience, uh, really tailored to uh, give them a better uh, understanding of their own skills as a driver and actually raise their skills throughout the day, and also to get them to better understand what their cars are capable of, and for them to have an opportunity to drive our, our newest uh, Zs and GTRs, as well as the new Juke Nismo. Yeah. And because uh, when people buy these cars, I mean, these cars are very powerful, a lot of really, really high-end technology for racing, but some people don't really understand it, right? I mean, they, they probably look the likes, the, the, they, like the, they like how they look the car, I know that, but uh, they, as you said, like pro they're very powerful cars. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's one of the things we love about this event. We have one of the world's great supercars, the GTR, here for people to drive. Even if they don't own a GTR, they get to drive that. Um, and what we found so far is, is about half of the people that have come to these events have never driven at a track. They've never taken their car in and done this sort of thing with them. So, uh, you know, I love looking at, at the expression on their faces yeah. at the end of the day of what Happy they were faces. able to do. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, what's the schedule for this thing? Because obviously, I mean, you're here in Miami, but uh, you, I, I guess you do it in other parts of the country too? Yeah, so far we've done uh, Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, Lime Rock in Connecticut last month, and then we're here in Miami. And right now, this is um, kind of our program so far for uh, this year. Uh, we're now in the process of kind of looking ahead at where we go next. So th this was kind of our, our first attempt at doing this, and, and I can tell you the reaction has been fantastic. So okay. now it's, uh, it's, it's where do we go from here. Excellent. So the, um, it's just regular. They, they go, they get the car, and like as part of the purchase, they, they don't have to pay extra for this. Like other manufacturers charge like, quite some money for, for these kind of events. Right. This has been uh, free to our owners, uh, and the way we've done it is we've sent out invitations to the people that own our cars and invite them uh, sort of on a, a, a you know first-come, first-served basis. We want everybody to have a fair chance at it. We've obviously had more uh, interest than we have spaces to accommodate, of so that's part of uh, looking ahead at how we can make the program bigger to be able to bring more of our uh, owners in. Yeah, and uh, what's the Nismo lineup right now in the market? 
Well, the Nismo lineup, uh, we had the 370Z Nismo. Um, that was our, the first Nismo product we've had in the U.S. And then earlier this year, we launched the Juke Nismo. So really, as we started to expand the lineup to bring more people in, Juke was a perfect candidate for that. And then we've announced the GTR Nismo, which is coming. Um, certainly, you know, taking the supercar we have e a notch even higher. Uh, and we've also announced that we'll be bringing in a higher performance uh, Juke Nismo RS. So. Uh, part of the Nismo expansion is to bring these Nismo uh, models to our various car lines where it makes sense, where there's a category where customers are looking for you know, an exciting, uh, expressive, fun to drive car, we're going to build Nismo models to satisfy that demand. Yeah. I was at N uh, Nissan 360 in uh, California last month and I drove the Leaf Nismo RC. That car was amazing. I mean, it's a regular uh, powertrain uh, Leaf, but they like prepare for racing. That car was amazing. Yeah, and you know, I think that's a great example of how we're looking ahead with Nismo and looking at the future of, of automotive technology and where it can go. You know, the thing that excites me about uh, electric, whether it's all electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles is, uh, as a car guy and a performance enthusiast, 100% of the torque at zero RPM. Yeah. So that's a that's Very it's faster. fantastic for acceleration. So yeah. I think you'll see more of that kind of thing to come. That's excellent. So where can uh, our audience come find more about these programs and Nismo in general? Well, the e easiest way to find out about the program is to go to nismoperformanceacademy.com. They'll see our website. They've got some videos from the events that we've done, and they can sign up there uh, to get invited to upcoming events. And uh, you know we'll keep them informed. And also, if they want to just learn about Nismo, Nissan US. USA.com, go to the performance section, uh, all the history and heritage you'd like about Nismo, our current lineup, and uh, you know some of the exciting things we have going on at Nissan. Well, the cars are going on now, right, so we're going to go to the track and enjoy yeah, Well, we got to get you out in one, so let's do that. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Pues esa fue la experiencia que tuvimos allá en el Homestead Miami Speedway en la Nissan Performance Academy. Eh, estuvimos de pasajeros con uno de los instructores ahí en una Nissan GTR 2014, como decía el mismo, uno de los mejores autos de producción que se venden en Estados Unidos y que se puede disfrutar realmente en la pista de competencias para, eh, en el mejor de los casos, sacarle toda la potencia a esos a ese motor espectacular y a esa transmisión de doble embrague que tiene el Nissan GTR 2014. Eh, hace unas semanas, como escucharon acá en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network, estuvimos en el evento Nissan 360, donde también tuvimos la oportunidad de probar el Nissan Leaf RC de Nismo, un auto, el, el auto eléctrico que fue equipado eh, completamente para poder competir en pistas de carrera y esa fue una experiencia realmente tan espectacular como esta en el Nissan GTR, porque aunque no lo crean, el Leaf, el eléctrico, el preparado para competir, eh, para correr en, eh, con, en pistas de carreras, acelera casi igual de rápido, de 0 a 60 millas por hora, que el Nissan GTR. Así que, como siempre, les recomiendo que vayan a nuestra página de Facebook, facebook.com slash auto 060, para que vean toda la información relacionada a los temas que hablamos esta semana en esta edición de Auto 060. El uh, Soul, el Kia Soul 2014, el Toyota Corolla 2014, las experiencias en el Homestead Miami Speedway con la Ferrari de Norteamérica y también con la Lisbon Performance Academy. Y para que vean también todos los videos de toda la acción que estuvimos en esta semana, pueden visitar nuestra página de YouTube en YouTube Auto 060, YouTube Javier Mota, así que todo lo pueden seguir, a mí me pueden seguir personalmente en Twitter, arroba Javier Mota. Como siempre, como todas las semanas, muchas gracias a DJ Cafa que estuvo esta semana ahí armando este rompecabezas desde el estudio, ya que como escucharon anteriormente, hemos estado viajando por todo el país para traerles lo, lo último sobre la industria automotriz, sobre los nuevos modelos y esta experiencia que tenemos de poder disfrutar todo lo mejor de los autos aquí en Estados Unidos y en todo el mundo. Así que esta ha sido una edición más de Auto 060, los esperamos muy pronto aquí en Cristina Radio Network. En esta, esta fue la edición especial eh, que estamos haciendo desde Cincinnati en Ohio, donde hemos venido a probar el Buick Regal del 2014, del cual les vamos a traer más información en las próximas ediciones. Yo soy Javier Mota y esto es Auto 060. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.